So at some point in your math career, you will have or have seen these formulas, okay? And what they are are basically sums of different numbers. Here we're looking at the just the sum of a bunch of integers, and we know that the sum is going to be n, n plus 1 over 2. We also have a formula for the sum of squares and the sum of cubes. And on the surface, these formulas look pretty complicated, okay? But actually, how we can prove that they are true is by using what we call mathematical induction, okay? And what mathematical induction is, is basically we prove that it works for n equals 1. So we show that these equations all hold for n equals 1. We then assume that the equation holds for n equals k, some arbitrary k, and then, oops, sorry, using that fact, we show that it's true for n is equal to k plus 1, okay? And basically how that works is if it works for 1, we can assume it works for any number. k could be any number, so k could be 1 as well. So if it works for 1, then this would show that it works for 2. If it works for 2, then we already know it works for the next one. It works for 3, it works for 4, it works for so 5, so on and so forth. Okay, so mathematical induction is basically a type of approach to proving a statement. You show it works for your first term. You assume it works for some arbitrary variable. Typically, k is used. And then using the fact that it works, you're assuming it works for k, you prove that the equation still holds for n is equal to k plus 1.